Seems like those lions are pretty active today. <laughs> Must be quite entertaining. Now we came to check on the wigs and it's quite a change that she's facing the other way. I've never seen her lie down facing the left hand side and not the right hand side, which I'm very excited about. And I believe, sorry, I can't remember who it was, but somebody said, mentioned yesterday that they've got two chicks. So thanks for letting me know. I've only seen sort of fluffy parts of one. Maybe there are two down in there. I can't really tell, but she is potentially keeping them a tad too warm. Although it's overcast and gloomy today, it feels very heavy, very humid. So it's actually one, if you're not driving around, then it, the temperature rises quite quickly. So I think maybe it's just building up for a new storm. It's generally what happens. But again, very clever owl, spotted eagle owl. It's just chosen a great, great spot. Which always makes me laugh. She can either look very content with life or she can look very grumpy like she is this morning. I mean, she looks a little bit, maybe just, she doesn't look grumpy today. She seems like she's had a hard time looking after the kids. Oh, moving. Hi. I don't know which way the chicks are facing, but it's adorable. I think maybe if we stick around for a little while longer, we might see them move again. I'd like to see its little face. I think... I think they're both maybe lying down there, because it almost seems like where that little twig is, that is that little branch that almost leads and it ends up on the white, that root. It seems like there, there might be a beak at the end of it. So just directly under her to the left. I think that's a beak for one of them. So I think maybe one is lying down facing to the left and then the other one's lying down facing to the right. I mean, that's me just guessing. Ooh. Okay, I'm also getting hot. No wonder they're not under her. Hey. Don't blame you guys. Exciting times with these owls. It started raining in the time that we've been here. Not that she seems too worried about it. So it'll take a couple of weeks before they start actually fledging or they start even um, flying and then from there it'll be a couple of months before they actually make their way into independence and they leave their parents. So it's a process that it doesn't take as long as in some of the mammals, especially if you compare it to lions and leopards, but these chicks, we're still going to have access to them for the next couple of, well, I'm going to say months. So that's going to be pretty cool just to see them fledge again. And it was funny because a couple of months back I was on a safari on Chitwa and we bumped into a spotted eagle owl, not around Juma, but in one of the other properties. I can't remember if we were in Little Gauri or Hofmans or somewhere down there. And we just had the most amazing owl sighting because it just stood there for ages. It looked like a younger one, so I'm pretty sure it was one of the previous wigs because there was no chance that an owl that hasn't seen humans before would stay around so close to us for so long. It was a pretty epic sighting. <laughs> so I think we've got, you know, these guys to thank for. <laughs> pretty little owl. Please, can you move? She was looking a little bit like like a crazy mom earlier. You know, when the, when the kids have been behaving or misbehaving and you've had a rough night and you need some coffee and one of your eye opens and the other one's closing. <laughs> That's kind of what she looked like. Like she's just managed to make them settle now. <laughs> yeah? adorable it's definitely so the beak that I was seeing earlier it's definitely a beak but I don't think I was looking at two chicks I think I've just been looking at one chick all this time much bigger than what I thought it looked like and the other one is either probably under or behind her 
Oh, that's so sweet. Look at you, so dirty. All your white fluff full of dirt and mud from the last...